Hello, my name is James Strange. I'm an associate professor in the Department of Religion at Samford University in Birmingham, Alabama. I'd like to take a moment to talk to you about a book that, in my humble opinion, ought to be on the shelf of every professor and student of Galilee uh, in the time of Jesus and later on in the time of the Mishnah. I'm talking about Galilee in the late Second Temple and early Mishnaic periods, Volume 2, The Archaeological Record from Cities, Towns, and Villages, edited by David Finnessy and by me, and published by Fortress Press. This volume is the second in a series of two that's collecting a lot of information that's been published in scattered journals and archaeological reports. We wanted to consolidate this information and to present volumes that we wished that we owned but that didn't exist. For this second volume, we focused on the archaeological record, both digs and surveys of towns in the Galilee, and what those towns can tell us about this archaeological period. In all cases, we asked where it was possible for the archaeologist who dug the site to write the chapter, and where that wasn't possible, we asked highly qualified people to take on the work. Now, some chapters summarize final reports that have been out for some time, but some of those reports are very long, or uh, they're not in English, or they're difficult to find, and other chapters are anticipating final reports that have not yet come out. Because in archaeology it's important to see what people are talking about, we also include lots of images, uh, photographs of artifacts and maps of sites and drawings and other things to draw the reader's attention. Let me say a, work, uh, a word about a few of the chapters in particular. As of this book's publication, nowhere else are you going to find so complete a report on the archaeology of Magdala and Capernaum. That explains in part why these chapters are longer than all the other chapters. You will also find reports on all four of the Mayrone excavation project sites written by the excavators themselves. In my opinion, most of the archaeology that's being done in the Galilee today can thank that project both for its archaeological method and for our understanding of the Galilee. Without a doubt, the centerpiece of the volume is the chapters on Sepphoris. In those volumes, we present the work of four of the five best-known and well-published excavators, and we summarize the work of the fifth. You'll find chapters by James F. Strange, Eric Myers, Carol Myers, and Zev Weiss and you'll find a chapter summarizing the work of Tzvi Katsuk on the very important waterworks of Sepphoris. And we allow the discussions to stand. You will find disagreements about the dates of such things as the Sepphoris Theater, and we allow you to see the evidence for yourself, for both sides of the argument. This volume contains the same research helps that the first volume did. We have excellent terrain maps, we have a four-page spread of maps of the ancient Galilean road system. Now that map is one of a kind. We have lists of important dates and rulers. We have two indices. And to this volume, we have added a very important glossary of terms that our authors use and we think you'll find helpful. And of course, every chapter has its own bibliography. The books aren't intended for your library alone. We also think that they're ideal for courses in colleges and seminaries on the beginnings of both Judaism and Christianity. We hope that you'll find them as valuable as we intend for them to be.